in a use case, a current use case, which is diabetes use case, uh, together with the team from Norway, and we make an iOS app, they make an Android app, and together actually it's, it's going to be a diabetes share system. The decision was partly based on the fact that not all of the population uses Android devices, which means we kind of want to be able to target also the iOS users. And the other part was that we have a project partner that also makes uh, glucometer devices. The partners are a company that's uh, based in Slovenia, it's called VPD, and they make those tiny audio jack glucometers and also sell them. So it's a great fit for the project to be able to use such a device with, with the, the five star diabetes use case. Well, this glucometer uses the audio jack, which means it uses actually sound to transmit the information to the iPhone. It's, an, it's a modem in itself, so basically it works with all the devices. There's no need for any special connectors. It uses a classic headphones uh, connector that's present in all the devices. So it's pretty much compatible with uh, all the devices on the market. Having a small and in design is useful. You can put the glucometer directly in your pocket. You don't have to carry around large um, instruments. And it's also sexy. So that's what people like and that's what we're trying to deliver. With the development of both an Android and iOS application, patients right across Norway will be able to run the app on their smartphones. But the development on both platforms also means that the app can be easily rolled out across other countries. One of the great advantages of this app is that it actually allows the patient to communicate with the doctor, with the clinician, and to submit to send the data about their condition, their logs, to the clinician. And this actually reduces the distances that can be in real world really huge. Right here in Norway, this is a great example because the distances are really, really huge and it's actually hard or in some cases impossible and very expensive for the patient to visit a clinician and by using technology we can actually connect them without the need for physical visits. Well, in the future we would like to approach uh, different user groups from different directions. One direction is of course to go straight to the market, to the end users and make the solution available as a day-to-day -day thing that you use in order to control and basically to manage your well-being and your lifestyle. At the same time, through Five Star and also beyond that, we would like to approach the domain from the health perspective. So we need to talk first to the professionals, we would like to talk to the hospitals, to doctors and basically reach the patients through the medical procedures that are and processes that are already in place.